Greetings and welcome to LGR Oddware, where we're taking a look at hardware and software and things that are odd, forgotten, obsolete, and today's is bread. Now bread is not forgotten, obsolete, or even that odd. But this is, because this is not bread, this is a keyboard wrist rest. It just happens to look like a piece of French bread or some other baked kind of bread that I'm, I'm not entirely sure what my bread types are. But uh, this, I just happened to see on uh, online and I thought, what, why, why, why? I was looking for wrist rests. And uh, this has a lovely hour wedding thing right there. Mm, look at that, it's sort of an Eiffel Tower with a heart on top or something. Uh, that makes a whole lot of sense to me. This is stupid as crap, which is why I'm talking about it. So this is made by a company called Lytop, I guess. Uh, although I've seen a ton of other companies doing this, so I don't friggin' know who actually puts this out there. All I know is this came from Shenzhen, China for about 13 bucks uh, when I got it. And uh, it took like two months to get here. So uh, yeah, this is, this is a gag gift, I guess, right? But at the same time, it is useful. I mean, it's sold as a wrist rest. And you know, wrist rests are, uh, they're quite useful. And they, they rest your wrist. They promote comfort and uh, health and things like that that are good for wrists when you're using them with keyboards and, you know, this is just one that I got from Staples or something for like a dollar or two. I don't know, it's one of those clearanced out items <laughs> that they had going on. So, uh, I, I mean, you know, this, this is fine. It's nice and squishy, works well, but I was looking for one for my wood grain 486. That thing is just a wonderful looking machine and it deserves a wonderful looking wrist rest. And uh, what's more wonderful than bread? especially when you're hungry. So yeah, it comes in this uh, package. I mean, look at this. It's just, it looks like a thing of French bread. Let's, let's open this up, because I am just so curious about, what does that say? JMWedding.com? I have not been there, don't know what that is. Might be porn, who knows? Let's not uh, recommend going there, but I can't vouch for it. Oh yeah, more plastic. Mm. Let's get this thing out of here. All right, <laughs> this is, uh, that's definitely bread-like. You know what, this this feels like one of those, uh, it's like stress balls, it's that type of material. See how it smells? Ooh, it smells like utter crap. It's really, it smells like chemicals and like uh, forced labor. This is not the most appealing thing now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks kind of like a long yellow turd, uh, but that that's okay. Uh, uh, it's still supposed to look like bread, and you know, I was really surprised to see that there are a lot of baked goods computer items. I mean, all sorts of little attachments, things that look like muffins, things that look like donuts and rolls. And, uh, like, why? Why is this a thing? There apparently is a whole world of computing out there that I just had no idea existed, and uh, this, this is my entryway into it. So, without further ado, <laughs> Let's uh, let's plop this onto the 486 keyboard in front of it anyway, and uh, let's see what it does. Okay, let's see how this thing actually works. Uh, I just like pointing with it. It seems really inappropriate. So yeah, there we go. Uh, that is not nearly as long as I thought it would be. Uh, hmm. Needs to, you know, maybe if this was like a 10 keyless keyboard, but it is not. So I'm just gonna do it like this, and I'm sort of over here at an angle, so sorry about it looking weird. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> all right, so, I mean, you know, okay. I'm already there, I'm already there. What, 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 what do I wanna open here? Let's just open uh, yeah, this. So installed this on here the other day. Nice. So we can wrist rest my way to uh, success in One Must Fall 2097. Classic fighting game. I'm finding myself not being very comforted by this wrist rest. <laughs> oh crap. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm not wanting to use it. It's just... Okay, once I beat this person up, I'm gonna tell you why. This is really serious. I gotta do this with this wrist rest. Okay, so because of the way it's shaped, the back of my wrists are sliding off of it. And that's just not good. It's also very slick, way slicker uh, than my Staples one. 
Sorry, Stefan, you're just gonna have to fail there. See, like, for instance, this. Oh, yeah, this is great. It's, it's wider right here where it needs to be. Wider over here. And, of course, the whole thing is wider overall. And I guess depth is what I'm talking about here. But, uh, yeah, this bread is really stupid. I mean, it's supposed to be stupid. Obviously, it's, I guess, maybe... No, not obviously. I was gonna say, obviously it's a gag gift, but maybe not, because I'm seeing, like, reviews and stuff for it. People are like, well, it's good wrist rest. I actually like it a lot. I like bread. Uh, it's good wrist rest. <laughs> no, it's not. This thing is terrible. There's pretty much only one thing left to ask, and that is, how does it taste? And, well... Mm. Tastes like bread, because this is real bread, not the wrist wrist. That would be really nasty. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this was a little bit of silly oddware. We'll have something a little more substantial and, and perhaps a bit more serious business next time around. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this nonetheless. This is just something I wanted to put together quickly because I thought this was genuinely strange. And I'm going on a bit of a vacation soon, so I need to get some videos done quickly and early. But yes, as always, thank you very much for watching.